hi, welcome to the Intel booth here. It's all about making amazing experiences possible. So with Breakthrough Technologies, we're able to help people stay smart, stay connected to their worlds around them. So here we have the Run IQ, which is a collaboration between New Balance and Intel and Google. So you have Android Wear running on the smartwatch. And right here you can see we have an athlete demonstrating it, showing all the metrics that it is actually uh, keeping track of. So you have things like heart rate, speed, power, cadence, distance, all being tracked through the watch has a dedicated GPS in the watch. So let's say you want to leave your phone at home and run without any distractions, just have your watch on. It'll be able to track all those things, track the route that you run using its GPS, and then you can come home and sync that with your with your Run IQ app, and it'll be actually able to log that over time so you can track your progress and make improvements, things like that. Um, with the Android Wear Marketplace, you're able to download different things like third-party apps, things like Uber. You can actually access that right on the watch. And then it also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. So if you want to connect the watch to Wi-Fi in a Starbucks, you can actually you know, use those applications that need an internet connection without a phone. But then if you want your notifications on the go, you can use Bluetooth to get those push notifications from an iPhone or an Android device. You're going to be able to get that all on the go. It's also got voice recognition, so you can do things like OK Now or OK Google searches and all types of stuff like that. And it comes with different customizable watch faces, so whatever makes the most sense for you. Um, and then this is just part of the part of the experiences that Intel's making possible with their technological breakthroughs. So this is the first smartwatch really designed for runners by runners. And this collaboration, it's been about two years in the making between New Balance and in Intel. So it's allowing runners to you know, keep track of their performance and you know stay connected on the go. Yeah, so it's available for pre-order now and it will be available February 1st and the price point is $299. So as of now, I believe it'll just be select New Balance stores, um, but over time as it becomes more widely available, you can be able to check online as where as to where it's available. Hi, so here we are showing a great, great setup we did with a startup from Sweden called Voices. So we are doing a 360 capture of all the gaming environment with the players playing in real life. And then we are reintegrating the screens of the players under their head inside the VR stream. So you can see here the stream, so in live on Oculus. So here at the booth, we've got persons from the CLG uh, team playing against random people all day long on the booth. Hi, I'm Benita Nofshadian. My alias is Benita. I play for CLG Red. I play uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive professionally. I live in a gaming house in LA with my team. Before the big Intel sponsor, I used to buy all my pieces, my parts, off of Newegg. And um, for Counter-Strike, it's a really CPU-heavy game. Uh, so I would just like basically focus on getting a really good CPU and a really good graphics card. And yeah, and I just built it. I've built about two or three, like every four or five years, and I always buy it off Newegg because it's like the best place to buy it. Yeah, now we got the Intel sponsorship and they send us our towers now. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I've been playing Counter-Strike since 2003. Um, I've been traveling for the game specifically like when I was starting 15, 15 years old. I'm now 24. Um, my team and I, we travel internationally to play in female tournaments. And we play in mixed gender tournaments, domestic. It's a full-time job, basically. We practice, we all live together, we work together. We practice five days a week, four to five days a week. We uh, play in online leagues. So we're a female team, but we play in mixed um, leagues and tournaments just as much as female only. It's exploding right now. Like, this used to be just my hobby. I was like really young, so it was nothing like this, um, like way back then. But now Counter-Strike and like, with the help of TBS and Turner and E-League, it's really, really, really exploded, as well as Twitch live streaming. It's amazing. I get to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and I get to watch like E-League Counter-Strike tournaments. And I never thought in my lifetime, like, like this was just a hobby for me and now it's like my job. And I never thought I'd be able to see it like explode the way it has. All right, so I'm Rich Green with the Intel Sports Group. Today at CES, what we're showcasing are a couple different things that we're doing in sports, really about sports solutions and what we're doing within human performance. And so today on the court right now, what we have is our Majestic Swing IQ shirt powered by Intel partnership with Majestic to improve batting performance and so with batting performance it's really about your kinetic movement about your arm speed your wrist speed and your hip speed and so with our Majestic Swing IQ shirt we have a sensor in the shoulder a sensor in the wrist and then a sensor and a sensor hub on the on the hip and so what's nice about that and what's different about that is most batting improvement materials or, or, or devices are on the bat itself 
So you know when the bat's moving, but you don't know why the bat's moving. So this is the first on body where you can get the full body chain, the kinetic chain for your hip speed, your shoulder speed, and wrist speed to improve batting. And so we're excited. It was just announced today. It'll be available in the spring. And again, it's our partnership with Majestic, uh, so the Majestic Swing IQ. Secondly, what we're showing on the court is a basketball experience. And we're putting Curie sensors in the wrist and on the waist of participants that are coming in. And what's great about that, it gives you the real-time body movement from a basketball experience. So whether it's your dribbling, your dribbling power, your dribbling frequency, your pass power, we can calculate that in real time. On your jump shot, we can calculate how consistent you are on your jump, how quick your release is, and how much power you put in on your release. And so these are key features for basketball. If you think about somebody in the NBA, it's all about consistency. Are they consistent in their jump, their power, their release? And we're showcasing what we can do with our Curie sensors and with our algorithms. And so those two things are being shown here at the Intel Sports Booth. What's exciting is we've hired some professional dunkers that throughout the day they're going to come in and showcase some amazing athletic ability with these real-time Curie sensors. So when you get a chance, come on back throughout the course of the week and see some amazing athletes. So I'm Brad Starks. I'm a product manager, product line manager, working on, on autonomous driving solutions for automotive for Intel. Um, and our, we recently released yesterday a new autonomous driving development platform based on Intel Xeon processors for autonomous driving and scaling all the way down to atom-based processors for automated driving. So our big focus from Intel is to enable um, what we call the three C's, car, connectivity, and cloud. So we have high-performance computing solutions and scalable computing solutions for in the, actually driving inside the vehicle. And then we've got solutions for a high-performance connectivity, high-bandwidth connectivity to the cloud. And we've got solutions for actually in the cloud to be able to ingest data, to be able to manage it, to be able to learn from it and, and handle that data securely so that, uh, so that um, all of the vehicles can learn together and increase their collective intelligence. Right. So, so what, what, we're, what we're delivering is really a complete end-to-end -end solution that's going to enable future cars to be able to drive autonomously. So, you know, solutions for the car, then solutions for connectivity, and solutions for the cloud. So this, these hollow lenses are really cool because you can wear the hollow lens as you walk around the vehicle, and it will show you um, virtually show you things like data streaming up to the car. It actually shows scenarios with the car driving around where a collision happens in front of the car and, and it's able to virtually recognize the virtual collision. Um, so the HoloLens just really give you an experience of being able to, to, to experience driving around in a self-driving car without having to have a big open space and, and, and area to drive the car around okay. in. So, so right now, a lot of um, car makers and their partners are developing autonomous driving compute platforms. And so basically what we have available now is a, a development platform for autonomous driving that does both um, computer vision, deep learning, machine learning in the vehicle, and also drives the decision-making engine in the vehicle so we can make cars a lot more intelligent. And we have a range of solutions that range anywhere down from our, our smallest atom processors uh, at less than 10 watts all the way up to a full, a high-performance multi-core dual Xeon processor.